Hello. So in this video, we will use OpenSSL to extract the website certificate expiry dates. So now this command OpenSSL S underscore client hyphen connect google.com is used to get the website certificate chain. 443 is the default HTTPS port in case you are running uh, this command on a local website which is running on port 8443 you will replace the host name and the port here so if we use this we can see it shows us the certificate chain and what we are interested in is to see when is this thing expiring so for this we are going to use a linux pipe to basically pass this output again to open ssl to filter this and extract the dates so, so the command is we get the certificate and then we pass it again to open ssl and we say just show us the dates without any other output and as you can see it says not before 13 September 2021 and then not after 20th November 2021 we can verify the same by actually going to the website google.com and looking at the certificate Thirteenth September twenty twenty one to twenty eighth November twenty twenty one. Now, if we want to get the same values by, let's say, using a grep command, we can use the first half, which is to connect and get the certificate chain, and then instead of getting the dates, we can say open SSL, just filter the certificate chain and give us the text, and then we can use grep to filter that text to get the dates. It's not really required to do this, but it is fun to show you guys how you can use other Linux commands to just filter the text if you're looking for something. So as you can see, I replaced the hyphen date with hyphen text. So I'm just getting the values as is. And then I filter and add not after as a filter to grip, basically asking grip to show me when will the cert expire. I added hyphen A1, which means show me the next line, the line just below not after. Uh, just to show you the subject name now if i remove this and show you the output it's basically the cert here and we can see here subject alternate names see not before and not after so we can filter this and the next line after not after is subject and that's what we saw so we can add this we can do grep a1 and then over here we can say give me not before or not after now since not before not after they both exist so we'll get them both here see not before not after which now matches the output that we were getting via directly open SSL hyphen date command. The subject name, we can remove that. There you go. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching.